Smokey. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are in Las Vegas at Smoke Burgers and Barbecue trying their food. So, started with a little bit of smoked wing, which is on top of one of their fancy Caesars. Um, really good wing, I actually really enjoyed, definitely taste the smoke. Here you see a burnt end. We moved on to the burnt ends. Um, we ordered them as an appetizer, and definitely they provided a nice, we'll say, succulent, juicy piece of meat. Nice amount of sweetness with the sauce, and then just that rich, kind of fatty flavor you would expect from a burnt end. Um, so kind of the way I would classify this style of barbecue is kind of like commercial barbecue. So I'm going to kind of classify barbecue in like really, really homegrown, like backyard barbecue, and then kind of more commercialized barbecue. Um, this is a little bit more on the commercialized end, but that doesn't mean it was any less or not good by any means. Then moved on to the brisket, and here we also have some ribs. We had a variety of different sides and uh, really allowed us to try, again, not only different varieties of meats, being the burnt ends, the brisket, and the ribs. Here's the brisket. Yes, it was pretty dang delicious. It is as good as it looks. But again, also a number of different sides, and of course, we're gonna finish off with dessert. So as I mentioned, burnt ends were absolutely great. Moving on to the brisket. Brisket was very good as well. Brisket was very tender, um, definitely lighter on the smoky side, all of these items were definitely lighter on the smoky side. So the items definitely fit on a large array of different palettes. Um, I myself personally prefer like a really, really, really strong smoky flavor, like a slap in the face smoke. So it definitely isn't like that. It's more of a, again, kind of more a, uh, a nice light smoke, which was probably is a lot more appeasing to the vast majority of individuals. Here, trying the beans. Um, the beans were really interesting. They had like a burnt sugar um, kind of, I think, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a candied, but kind of like a burnt sugar candied kind of flavor. Um, I've never had beans that tasted like that before. Um, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, here we had a nice potato salad. Potato salad was, was, it was good. It was really good actually. Um, had a nice variety of flavors. Uh, there was definitely some dill in it, I believe it was. Um, just some kind of like a, a herb. I couldn't put my, my finger on at the moment being there but definitely light and fresh. Um, and, and I mean, really, I mean, what more can you ask for in a potato salad? Potato salad also seemed like it was, you know, like very well made. It didn't seem like it came out of a container or anything. Moving on to the ribs. So these were the pork ribs, uh, the baby back ribs, and they were good. There was like no complaints. Um, they served with just a little bit of sauce on them, as you saw. And what you're gonna about to witness is just how tender these ribs were. So these ribs were actually very, very tender. Um, definitely, you could call it kind of fall off the bone, but they still did maintain structure, so they weren't like overcooked or anything. Again, the ribs had a, a lighter smoke flavor, um, and the sauce was definitely a nice addition. It kind of added a little bit more of a sweet, uh, a little bit more of a uh, overall encompassing flavor, which with the fattiness of the rib kind of just helped bring everything together. They had their own uh, unique barbecue sauces. They had a original or kind of like a sweeter one, and then they had a hot one. I was opting for the original ones, and it was just a kind of what I call just a very nice, soft, sweet uh, barbecue sauce but it didn't taste generic by any means. It was definitely just very nice and easy on the palate is the best way I would put it. Um, so going back here with some of these burnt ends, which I'll just tell you right now, these were all of our favorites. The burnt ends we found, um, again, just very, very soft, moist, very fatty, but like in a good way. Um, and of course with that sweet sauce, nothing wrong with that. So definitely, we all really enjoyed these burnt ends. I mean, just look at that. Look at that little beautiful action. And I would say another reason why I enjoyed these probably the most out of the other items is because they also had the most smoky flavor. Again, I personally enjoy very much a very smoky, smoky flavor. Um, but my friend Blaine, I didn't even introduce anybody, but here to my right, your left, is Mr. Blaine, my good friend Mr. Blaine. And here on my left, your right, is my good friend, Mr. Liam. 
So Mr. Blaine came up from California, whereas my friend Liam is a fellow Canadian, however he has been working in the States. And check out that t-shirt. If you're not familiar with that t-shirt or who that character is, you definitely should. Um, so here I am trying the spicy barbecue sauce, and then they had what looked like ketchup, but I wanted to make sure because I've been places where it was a traditional barbecue sauce in a red container, but in this case, it was ketchup. But hey, I like I like ketchup on pretty much everything, and ketchup was good on ribs, although I believe it was the first time I have ever had it. So by this time, I figured it was uh, time to get into a few more of the remaining side dishes. So the other sides that we had, um, besides the coleslaw, which coleslaw was great, it's hard to go wrong with, generally hard to go wrong with coleslaw, but at the same time, you can go wrong with coleslaw, but these guys were definitely doing it right. We also had the french fries, which were kind of like a hickory seasoned flavored french fry. Um, I liked the french fries, they were just the right level of crispiness, and they had this really nice seasoning on them. So it kind of gave just like this general salty, um, I, maybe you could say smoky, but kind of salty, just really nice flavor. In fact, actually, I think this is one of the nicer french fry spices I have ever had. Uh, just again, just a really nice balanced, salty, almost, I don't know if smoky is the right word. Um, Sweet potato fries, heading on to them. Um, sweet potato fries, I generally like very, very crispy, and these ones were not crispy. Um, again, just a personal preference, but, I mean, they were sweet potato fries. There was absolutely nothing wrong with them. They were solid, uh, just speaking from my personal preferences. The sweet potato fries weren't, like, additionally seasoned, really, either. Um, and so, especially kind of after having them, I think, after the french fry, which was so well seasoned, um, it was kind of like a hard... You know, so it was a hard comparison, especially, like I said, if you just tasted something that was uh, shockingly, like very surprisingly delicious. Again, the french fries, which, I mean, heh, french fries are usually french fries, but no, they were really, really good in this point. So now we're heading on to desserts. So we got two desserts. We got a brownie, um, which was a brownie, obviously, covered in chocolate and caramel sauce. And then we had a uh, banana pudding. So now this banana pudding, it was called a salted caramel banana pudding. Um, so it had caramel sauce obviously on top there, of course the vanilla wafers. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but hey, heading into the brownie. Um, so the brownie was very, very moist and it was quite a decadent brownie. Get you a little bit of a close up there, definitely a moist, thick, decadent brownie. And Mr. Blaine, who is a big, big, big chocolate brownie fan, he was loving it. He was like, oh yeah, that thing was great. Um, with probably a few swear words in there as well, examining how, you know, or explaining how good it was. So now I am going to attempt to show you what the uh, banana pudding looked like up close. <laughs> But as you can see, I failed miserably and put some of the banana pudding onto the chair where my tripod was. But I cleaned it up, don't worry. So going back to the banana pudding. So it was supposed to be a salted caramel banana pudding, yet I'll be honest, I couldn't really taste much of a salted, salty, salted caramel aspect. Um, it was, uh, I'd say, like a pretty um, standard banana pudding. Uh, with, again, the vanilla wafers, a little bit of the caramel sauce on top, but I was not quite finding what I would call exactly a salted caramel flavor or aspect. Again, not saying that that's bad by any means, just I was a, li was a little lacking um, in the salted caramel department for it to be called a salted caramel banana pudding. And I'll talk just a little bit about the uh, Caesars as we close off, because I didn't get to mention earlier. Um, so the Caesars, the cocktails, or the Bloody Marys, I guess I could say, um, they were really, really interesting. They make them with a Jack Daniels whiskey, so they definitely have this kind of like, kind of southern, eh, not southern, but kind of smoky, just whiskey flavor, which was really, really cool. Then it was topped again with the smoked chicken wing, which was great, a little bit of bacon, a tomato, some celery. Um, so definitely a cool cocktail that we got to try as well. Mr. Blaine's just finishing off the dessert. And uh, that, everybody, that's about our meal. So I hope you enjoyed. Extra special thank you to Jeremy. He's the general manager. And, of course, Mr. Kelly. Kelly was our server today. Man, great service, great staff, great food. So we're in Las Vegas, especially on the Strip. You know where to come by. Yep.
awesome, and we're just here eating, having a great time, and at the table next to us watches our videos, which is so cool. So here we have Mr. Chris. Thank you, Chris. We have Miss Danny. Thank you, Mrs. Danny. And we have their parents, and it's their birthday today. And so here we have Rick and Debbie, so happy birthday to the both of them. Awesome. They're going to go enjoy uh, Florida Georgia Line tonight, and here enjoying some amazing food at Smoke Burgers and Barbecue. So, you know where to go. <laughs> awesome. This thing later, whatever it's called, the fountains. Boats and boats. <laughs> That's quite the CVS. I haven't heard that somewhere. Oh, Step Brothers. Step Brothers, yeah. yeah. Most family friendly thing. Yeah, when I think of Vegas, I don't think of families generally. It's, it's a great place to visit, but no. This, I didn't know that the schools are like at last at the bottom. Yeah. I know that's what somebody told me. Wow, that's a super high fountain. Wow. Would you just look at it, eh?